Okay, I hope you guys are ready for another rockin' video brought to you by yours truly, Mrs. Munson. Um, today we are going to talk about how the temperature of ocean currents affects the climate of cities located on these different ocean currents, or in other words, how it affects their temperature and precipitation. Um, for this, we need to remember that the Earth's atmosphere is actually heated by the land that is under it. And we first learned about this when we learned about the roles of the atmosphere and the greenhouse effect. But what happens is, is the sun's rays come down and they actually warm the earth, both the land and the water. And then the land and the water is what actually warms the atmosphere. So the warmer the land is, um, or the warmer the water is under the atmosphere, the warmer the temperature will be. So if we look at a map that shows the ocean currents in the United States, we can see that the, oops, sorry, let me go back here. We can see that the um, east coast here is on a warm ocean current. Um, you can see this band of kind of yellowish orange coming up from uh, down by the equator. Whereas the west coast is on a cold current that um, it's blue coming down from the poles. So if we look at a map that shows the temperatures, it's kind of hard to see because it's so small, but the east coast of the United States, you can see this kind of red that expands up the coast. Whereas on the west coast, we can see yellow kind of coming down the coast. So the east coast, which is on that warm current, and you can even see the current right there in the ocean, is warmer than the west coast. And if we look over here, we can see that yellow current coming down the coast and the colder temperatures on the west coast. Um, the temperature of ocean current also affects precipitation. Um, because warm water evaporates easier, um, cities that are on warm ocean currents receive more precipitation. In the United States, <clears throat> This is kind of hard to see um, because we have other factors affecting how much precipitation we get besides just ocean current. But we can see that in general, the east coast, which is on a warm current, is all green, okay? Um, it's all green because of that warm current. The west coast starts off down here actually very dry um, because of that cold current. Now as we move up the coast it does get wetter but we also have the Sierra Nevada mountain range right there that makes um, all of these cities here on a windward side of a mountain which that's why they are getting more precipitation. Um, but as far as the cold ocean current, the cold ocean current once we get down here where those mountains aren't located anymore then we can see it starts to dry out because of the temperature of the ocean current, whereas the east coast has more precipitation um, because of the warm current that it sits on. So just to recap really quickly, um, the warmer the ocean current is, the warmer your temperature will be, the warmer the ocean current is, the more precipitation you will have. <laughs> 